Hey, what is going on, ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into episode 15 of our Early Reich Achievement Let's Play as Brandenburg, where uh, I think this episode we kind of told ourselves we'd be doing a, a little a little something something here. Um, if I can remember properly what it would be, I think it was something along the lines of uh, finally going to Annex... Lübeck, perhaps? Maybe it was something like that, because uh, aggressive expansion has dropped quite a bit since we kind of did like nothing last episode, so that's kind of why. Um, but yeah, time to go kill things now. We get Cleansing of Heresy for that spicy 75% aggressive expansion. And, uh, well, it's going to call in quite a few guys. Quite a few guys. Um, so first of all, Bremen, uh, right here. Hamburg, right here. Gelre, over uh, here. And Riga. So we're here, which is what this guy is going to deal with, I think. Pretty sure that was the plan, and if it wasn't, then I'm just... I don't actually know what's going on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the plan. This guy's heading here. Um, what was I gonna... Oh, maybe I was gonna annex Lundberg. Was I gonna do that? That makes no sense. Why would I annex Lundberg? I always wanted the northern trade more. No, let's go for Lübeck. Yeah, no, let's, let's go for Lübeck and let's call in... Like, I mean, everyone, right? Sure, why not? Overkill, but just sure, why not? Um, first, uh, we're actually going to send him over here. Yeah, if there if there was a plan here about annexing, about annexing Lundberg, then, I mean, uh, I didn't do it right then, because I took the claim on Lübeck, so that's, that's kind of the point. Anyways, we're going to bring in... Hmm... I mean, we have enough... There's no, there's no uh, ifs, ands, or buts. We do have enough favors with everyone. Call in whoever we like. It's just like, is it, is it overkill if we do this? Yeah, sure, but whatever. Okay, cleansing of heresy. Let's begin. This guy will just sort of slowly make his way over to Riga. Uh, I'll have to ask the Livonians to walk through. Apparently, they're cool with that. Um, oh, apparently, if they didn't have. Over 100 development, they'd also be my vassal. Uh, that's confusing. Probably not accurate at all, but... Okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, let me get a spy network. In in a month. Uh, also, I need one in Hamburg. And I need the cool music on. Where's my cool music? First of all, volume change, and then cool music. This stuff. You guys are going to get sick of listening to this, but I never do for some reason. Okay, France, why are you guys upset? Why, why are you upset? I mean, I could just put this back on for like a few seconds. Yeah. Screw it, sure. There you go. Be loyal. Be my friend. Please, thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let me get the spy network in here, actually. Oh yeah, France has a navy. Forgot about that. It's actually useful. Alright, do I have access? I do! Okay, so let me siege down Riga. Ooh. The temp prestige or national unrest. Ooh, national unrest. No thanks, I'll take the prestige hit, thank you. My unrest is already bad because of my legitimacy, so... I don't really want to deal with that. Yeah, we're finally making money, cool. Okay, this should be a relatively easy war. I don't know how much I can annex, but I'd like to annex as much as possible. I'm wondering if, since this is coastal, Hamburg is coastal, can I take that too? Maybe. Would that be illegal? Would would everyone hate me for that? Probably. But that might still be legal. Uh, let's go for trade efficiency. Well, improved relations will actually decrease my aggressive expansion uh, over time. I don't know how to properly demonstrate that, but... Uh, Basically, aggressive expansion goes down faster if you have higher improved relations. I am pretty sure that's the case, at least. So, you know what, go ahead and quote me on that, because if I'm wrong, then I'll just take the L on that one, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. Also, cores, I need to do core things. Yeah, I mean, admin's a bit of an issue, but I mean... I mean... Uh, taking land, though, I mean, that's kind of nice, too. I think I, I think actually the plan was gonna be 
No, not quite to declare war on the Livonians, although I will do that to return all the cores. Maybe this episode, too. Maybe just get as much aggressive expansion as the game will let me do in this one episode. May or may not include annexing Hamburg as well. Ooh, that's a lot of aggressive expansion. Yikes. We'll see. It's technically less aggressive expansion, but still wasn't really part of the the war, so they won't like me for it. Um, and then for annexing Lübeck themselves, that's just a, a solid 20. Okay, maybe we'll just go with Lübeck then. Lübeck and then maybe Lüneberg? Hmm, that's also an option. Alright. Uh, I just need that one siege to be done. Oh, Gelra is done. Okay, cool. Uh, Gelra, over here. I'll just take, like, your money, your war reps. Oh, if I can... No, I'm not going to force religion. Am I dumb? I... No. Keep your religion. I don't care. I'm going to swap over to it anyway. Either Reformed or Protestant. Uh, you guys let me know which one you think is the better idea. I mean, I've already done a, a Protestant Prussia before. So, honestly, it's... Uh, it's... Uh... I don't find too much of a difference in between the two, to be honest. Both have their strength and strengths and weaknesses. It's hard to directly compare them, honestly. But anywho, uh, Riga, I, can I can I full annex you? I could. Yes, I could indeed. Should I do that? Maybe. I don't really see why not, to be honest. They won't like me for it, but I might as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, screw it. I might as well. Thanks for the land, Riga. And then I'll start... Ooh, that's 106. That's expensive. Um, I'll take it. Uh, I also don't need these at all anymore. Uh, cool, cool. So, Hamburg will just... I mean, if you could transfer trade, actually. I don't know if transfer trade takes up a, a Diplo slot, though. It might. It very well might, and that's not very nice. That wouldn't be very good for me. So instead, Hamburg, I'll just go with, whoops, um, just this, money, not taking Hamburg, because that's a lot of aggressive expansion. Transfer trade power, hmm, transfer trade power or steer trade, what's the difference? Forced to steer trade, to me, 50% of the trade power. So transfer trade power is the, is the better one, right? And the worst thing that can happen is I get a minus one for Diplo if it, if it doesn't go the way I want it to. Really not the worst thing ever. So thank you, Hamburg, for your contributions. Does that put me over? No, it does not. It just makes them transfer their money, or their, their trade power. Nice. Not all of it, half of it. Okay, cool. Next we have Gedra, which will give me money. Uh, I... That's about it. I mean, that's all you're good for, honestly. I don't know. Revoke a core. Alliances. Rival. Friends. Sure. Okay, see you, Gedra. Uh, next we have Bremen. Pretty much the same thing, just... You know what? Yeah, screw it. This is good enough. Thank you, Bremen. And finally, Lübeck, the man himself. I will take your stuff. Oh, wait. I can make you transfer these trade powers? Even oh, that's weird. Oh, that is weird, because you're the leader of the... Oh, that is weird. Alright, thanks. Yeah, that is kind of weird, though. Hmm. Alright. Well, I can't really core Lübeck yet, so that's ironic. Uh, but I can... Sort of move these guys over here and start dealing large amounts of pain to uh, countries over here. Or, well, no, that's a bad idea now because I just got a, a bunch of aggressive expansion. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Okay. All right then. Let's uh, let's chill for a second then. That's fine. We can just sit here for a second. Decrease the forts. Except the Lübeck, because uh, you have a lot of 
damage in there. We'll get a little bit more... Actually, we have a really decent amount of money here. Hmm. I'm really considering now... Moving my trade to Lübeck itself. Well, it doesn't matter where your actual... Your, your trade capital is. Your trade port does not... Doesn't, doesn't really matter. As long as it's within that node. Also, I'm just, just to make sure no one's going to join a coalition. Uh, not that one. I did that wrong. There you go. Just in case. I find it unlikely, but not entirely impossible. Also, how's Sweden doing? Mmm, not quite rebellious, but kind of getting there. Uh, let's also decrease all of our maintenances so that we can save money. Oh god, my inflation's awful. Why is my inflation so bad? Maybe the money I've taken. That could also be it. That is probably it, to be honest. Oh, I can ask for money specifically. Cool, cool. I can... I guess boost some of these trade things. Like in Lübeck. I can boost that. Um, I prefer to core it first, though. Let me boost Stressend. Well, no, there's no point in boosting until I get... Until I actually move my trade capital. There's no point in doing any of that right now. I just need to keep focusing on admin pretty much. Pretty much that's it for now. <coughs> Sorry. Still have that uh, little cough in my throat for the next little while probably. Oh jeez, I'll pay the money. Yeah, I'll definitely pay the money on that one. At least that'll keep the nobility happy. Alrighty then. Uh, can I core now, please? Thank you. Yes, cool. Oh, is that Livonians? Hmm. It's gonna be really concerned if the Livonian order swapped religions. That would have been interesting. Also, am I... Are you guys converting my provinces? You might be. That's fine. I mean, we're gonna swap anyway. I don't know if I prefer Reformed or Protestant at this point. One of the two. Uh, it seems the Religious League War is not a thing yet, which is nice. <coughs> That's really nice for now. Here with the Prestige. Sure, I'll take that. For the slower decay. France is actually the, uh, the Pope now. That's interesting. I'll throw my five cents in. Oh, and we actually have four, cat four cardinals now. Hmm. Heresy. Wait, Heresy and Danzig, who's also the seat of a cardinal. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not going to convert it back. I have no reason to, for now. Uh, for now, what I should do. Prove relations with Pope Guy. And uh, he's going to give me more papal influence. Not that it'll be very useful in the future, but for now, that's fine. Ooh. Ah, yikes. I don't like any of this stuff. I have to take the top one. That sucks. Uh, I mean, advisor costs... They cost slightly less, I guess. I guess, yeah. Riga, who's also Prussian culture, for some reason. Don't ask me why. So they're fine to sit there. Um, we don't need to do anything here or here. We don't need to Diplo Annex anything. So what we'll do is actually use those points to move our trade capital, not to Lübeck, because we, I mean, it doesn't matter where we actually put it, but we'll just move it to Stratosund then. Boop. And uh, we're also going to boost Stratosund to level 2. We're going to boost Lübeck to level 2. We're going to... Uh, I don't know why I had this on still. I, I guess I'm losing my mind and wasting money, apparently. How much money have I been wasting? Oh, I've been wasting a lot of money. Yikes. Oh, I feel stupid now. I feel really dumb. Well, same amount of money, but it'll give me more, slightly. I don't know if Stettin is actually worth that much, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, the game has changed. We're going to move the one that's in Vien. Uh, over to the one in Saxony. Yeah, uh, you should not be collecting, you should be transferring. We collect in here. 
Oh, this is a lot of money. Hold on, one more month? Give it a second. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an event. That's a unique little uh, little screen here. Okay. Reservatum uh, Ecclesiasticum. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, we might have to accept that some of our subjects fault the heresy to avoid internal conflict. The ruler dictates the religion of the realm, after all. We may not afford to be so lenient with... Ec oh, jeez, that's a word in English I can't even pronounce... Ecclesiastical principalities, however, one of the prince bishops who rule in the Holy Roman Empire appears to have abandoned the church and listened to the lies of the Protestants, risking oh, hold on, not only his soul, but all, those of all his subjects. Uh, shoo, jeez. Uh, <clears throat> wow. It would cause too much trouble, because I don't care. Not a problem for me. We're going to use this CB as long as we can. As long and plentiful as we can. Let me get that plus, uh... Ooh. That's a plus five discipline. Spicy. I also get a free policy? I do. Siege and morale of armies. Mm. I can feel the Prussia starting to flow through my veins. This is very nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. No conversions here. I don't care. And cores are getting close to done. People are fighting rebels. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. What I need to care about slightly is... No, not that, actually. Uh, I could get an extra... I could get an extra Diplo rep. Do I want that? No, I think I'll save the Diplo rep for actually annexing France. Because we are starting to lose our Diplo rep. That's one of the reasons France became so rebellious. For that brief period of time. Yeah, so, um... They're going to be chill after a little while. And then we can boost that back up for annexation. Basically, though, we're making a hella, hella, god damn, that's a lot of money. Hella large amount of money. That means it's a larger army time. Uh, maybe an actual standardized army. Because what are we? We're tech, we're tech 11? Uh, still on Colverans and Pedreros, which are level 10. That's the first one, right? First guys are level 7, actually, so it's worth boosting this to four of these guys, at least. And we should check our composition, which is uh, 27. Disgusting. So, well. 27, mainly infantry would be good, so we want 1, 2, 3. Then we want a back row of... Hmm. Let's get a back row of, of, of 4... About five. Yeah, sure. Um, so you'll be 23 and four. And we can add three more regiments here. Uh, we'll just go with the three cannons for the back row damage and the ability to siege because, I mean, infantry is just so much more powerful than cavalry, for us at least. So that works for me. Ooh. Hmm. Smells like Sweden's gonna want some independence soon, huh? We also have a border with Denmark now. Hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a uh, it's real possibility. Real possibility to uh, go to war with Denmark and steal some of their stuff. That would be nice. Only if they actually flip, though. Uh, they haven't flipped yet. At this point, it's in Sweden's best interest to flip, but I don't know if they're allowed to. We'll see. Alright then, so no wars for a little while. Well, I wouldn't say a little while. We might... <gasps> oh! Lithuania, you got your stuff back! Nice! Those rebels really actually did work. Huh. That's pretty cool. I mean, we'll still we'll still fight the Livonians, but that's still cool. Also, uh, I'll put this fort up for the meantime, and then I'll get rid of it later. Oh, Lübeck is now part of my country. Uh, we'll also get rid of this castle. We'll give them straight to the burgers. No, I will not give them straight to the burgers, because the burgers are at 99%. Huh, would you look at that? That's interesting. Alright then, <laughs> never mind. Maybe maybe I'll boost this. Lead back to level... No, they're already level 2. Yeah, never mind. We're, we're just going to leave it as is, actually. 
We're just not gonna touch any of that and pretend it's not there. Uh, ooh. But the burgers did. Mm. Hmm. Do I want to give it to the burgers? I do want to give it to the burgers. But can I afford... Eh, I mean, kind of. This is really going to hurt. I'm going to do it. It's a bad idea, but it's also kind of a good one. More money and all that. I like more money. Everyone loves more money. Protect trade in there, too. For, you know, more money. Uh, oh, wow. That's the second time that happens? Well, I don't care. That's fine. Let me go ahead and not declare war, because I need to move this guy. Our aggressive expansion is... Hmm. Questionable. Could be worse. Really. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll declare war on the Livonians to retake the cores and then take their stuff. That sounds fine to me. So let's uh, improve our army maintenance. That might also get rid of some rebels, which will be nice. Oh yeah, okay, rebels are going down. Yeah, so Imperial Authority is just obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. Just gone. But, nah, that's fine. Let me give the better general to him. And you can have the lesser general. Uh, and then we'll wait for the Pol- Actually, no, we won't. We're not going to wait for the Polish Separatists. We're going to declare war for retake the core of Minsk. Which my subjects will help me with. Uh, and people are, are converting my territory, which is not fun. Not fun at all. I could put on a different edict to stop that, I think. Or is that... Oh, that's this one. I need to actually buy that. Darn. Anyways, uh, unify, that's not gonna happen. I can, I could technically convert another nation through war. That, that seems kind of dumb, in my opinion. There's, there's no reason for me to do that. Not yet. Not unless I, uh, change religions, and then maybe, perhaps, potentially. France is coming over to help me out. Not that I need it, but thank you very much, France. Wait, uh, you... I do have the better siege. Right? Well, you have an extra cannon. I don't know. I have the extra siege, but you have the extra cannon. Doesn't make a difference, but whatever. If we're lucky, we can get ourselves a border with uh, Muscovy. And then I think this also has Lithuanian cores. No, it has Livonian cores, because Lithuania lost their cores for some reason or another, but whatever. We still have the Casus Belli, so Reconquest of Cores is still viable. Ah, yeah. Feels good to be having a, a strong game as Brandenburg so far, though. Oh, that's done great. Get over here. Take that. Thank you. Where? Who, who do you belong to? Where are you going? You guys are lost. You guys are definitely lost. Let me move my guys out of the way here, because... You guys are just going and... You're taking the scenic route, I guess. That's what it looks like to me. You know, I respect that. Going out for a little bit of a, a day trip, I guess. I don't know. So, uh... Not revoke your core, but return these cores. Thank you very much. Why won't you do that? Oh, right. This. Smolensk. We actually need to, uh, to take that back. France is getting caught up fighting. Why are you sieging me down? What? What are you doing? No. What? Stop that. Who do you think you belong to? Who do you think you belong- Why are- Why are there Danish pretender rebels sieging my territory? What do you think you're doing here? Get out of here. Yeah, you weirdos. Uh, prestige, or I can get myself. Uh, stab. Missionary strength tolerance. No, let's take the prestige, because- that's tolerance of heretics decrease, and uh, I'm not about that life, so. Anyways, so we take these back. Uh, wait, do, do you not have cores here? Really? Really? Huh. Well, we'll give them to Lithuania. And then, like, is this is this fine? Can I just take the rest of this? Thanks, cool. Like, we're, we're solid like this? 
Um, people don't like it, but not enough for me to stop doing it. So that's fine. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just take this. Thank you. Alright, we're looking pretty solid right now. How much time do we have left on today's Double War Conquest episode? Uh, how about, I mean, a minute at most, so we might as well put a cut in here, kind of-ish. Uh, let me get my core started. Wow, I, I hope I don't complain about admin in the future, because I'm really just conquesting more than I need to, so... If you hear me complaining about admin in the future, then, I don't know, slap me through your screen or something, because... I'm just taking stuff that I don't need to take right now. But anywho, uh, yeah, that was one cheese conquest, or cheese cases belli. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have one against Muscovy. We'll have one against pretty much half of, half of Germany, yeah. That, that sounds about good. Sounds pretty solid to me. So Lundberg is next on the chopping block. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.